Hey guys, digital anchor Brandy Smith here. Today I am taking you to Houston's Beer Can House and I think it's pretty clear how it got its name. This is the work of a man named John Milkovich. He was a working class dude. He was an upholsterer for the Southern Pacific Railroad. And this is what he did as a pastime. A pastime that took a lot of time, decades actually, to transform this into this. What he told friends was he got sick of mowing the lawn and he got tired of painting the house, so he covered his lawn with concrete studded with marbles and rocks. And then it just spread from there. It spread from the patio along the pathway to the driveway and then down the driveway to the front until the whole thing was covered. Neighbors must have thought he'd lost his marbles. Something his wife Mary liked to joke about. When he started lining his house with flattened beer cans. He would do it one row at a time while his wife Mary was away working at the cosmetics counter at Foley's. Well, like she wasn't gonna notice if he did it slowly. Though the color's fading, you can still make out some of the brands. Texas Pride, Buckhorn, Shiner, Falstaff. Non-flattened versions of the cans are on display inside the house, along with John's work desk and tools. If you go inside, you will see things like all of the original fixtures and hangings, the original paint colors. It's like a little time capsule in there. All the details preserved, even the tile he hand cut. You know, for him, this wasn't any kind of highfalutin conceptual art. He was just a guy doing something in his spare time. John never considered it art, but the Orange Show does. We preserve these kinds of visionary art environments. We see value in a place like this where others might not. We lean into the creative reuse of common materials and the idea that art is for everybody, not just the privileged few. The nonprofit knows you might not visit the beer can house for its art. But secretly, you're enjoying art while you're here, even if you don't realize it. Decades on, the group's preservation efforts are more important than ever. The artwork on this house is getting grayer and grayer over time as the sun leaches out all the dyes out of these beer cans. So I think we do the artwork a favor by surrounding it with some beautiful native butterfly plants that are going to make the place pop. That's why the Orange Show started the Beer Can House Garden Club. There's really not much to it except people getting together and having a good time. Hoping to restore the backyard to its former glory. We collaboratively plan micro gardening projects out here in the yard. It's a small undertaking that honors John's big picture. For a guy like that who really just wanted to enjoy his life in his backyard and have a good time, for him to leave something like this behind, I just think it's so cool and wonderful. So do you want to add your name to the visitor book? You can stop by on the weekends. In the meantime, do you have a hidden gem I need to check out? Email me at bsmith at khou.com. Reporting in Houston, Brandy Smith, KHOU 11 News.